Sometimes back, I did a video on Xlama V2. Xlama V2 is a very fine, fast library to do local inference using local LLMs on modern NVIDIA GPUs. In this video, I will be introducing you to a new UI for this Xlama V2, which is called as XUI. We will be installing XUI and also Xlama V2 on our local system and then we will play around with it. Just to give you a quick overview of what exactly this XUI and Xlama V2 is, Xlama V2 is an inference library for running local LLMs on modern consumer GPUs. Also, Xlama V2 supports the same 4-bit GPTQ models as version 1 but also a new EXL2 format. EXL2 format is based on the same optimization method as GPTQ and supports 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8-bit quantization. The format allows for mixing quantization levels within a model to achieve any average bit rate between 2 and 8 bits per weight or BPW. Also, it's possible to apply multiple quantization levels to each linear layer producing something same to sparse quantization wherein more important weights are quantized with more bits. The same remapping trick that lets Xlama work efficiently with act order models allows this mixing of formats to happen with little to no impact on performance. Also, the parameter selection is done automatically by quantizing each matrix multiple times measuring the quantization error. And there are a lot of other awesome stuff which happens in terms of Xlama V2. And when we come to this XUI, it is a simple lightweight browser based UI for running local inference using Xlama V2. So this is just sits on top of Xlama V2 and we will be installing both from scratch. It is very friendly, responsive and minimalistic UI. It also maintains persistent sessions, multiple instruct formats, speculative decoding and it's not just about EXL2, it also supports GPTQ and FP16 models and you can even use it in the notepad mode. Okay, now enough theory. Let me take you to my local system where we will be installing it and then we will also be using it on our GUI. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I am using for this video. If you are looking to rent GPUs on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and a discount coupon code which is going to give you 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So highly recommended, do check them out. Okay, so that said and done, let me show you the VM. So this is a VM which they have sponsored Ubuntu 22.04 and the NVIDIA card which I'm using is the latest A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Okay, so let me clear the screen. So first step which we need to do, I would highly suggest that you install Conda. If you don't know what Conda is, please search the channel. I have done heaps of videos on it and this is the Conda version which I'm running at the moment 24.4. Let me clear the screen. And then let's create the Conda environment. I'm just calling it Conda create X UI. So let me press enter here and it is going to create the Conda environment. It's going to take too long and that is done. Let's activate it. I'm just going to type it here. And you will see that in on the left, it is now shown in parenthesis. That is all done and good. And now let's install some of the prerequisites. I will also be using flash attention with this. And so first let's get installed flash attention, which optimizes the stuff. And for flash attention, we need to install some of the stuff like uh, we need to have packaging. We need to have torch. Let me quickly check if I already have torch or not. Nope. So let me also install torch and ninja. Both of these are required for flash attention. So I'm just going to install it in one go and this will take 30 40 seconds so let's wait for it to finish ninja is installed let's install our flash attention also if you don't install ninja and you just do flash attention that takes around two hours to build so make sure that you install ninja that makes it very very quick installing flash attention and you can see 
there it has very quickly installed it okay so that is good let's now git clone the repos of not only x ui but also our x llama so first let's let me clear the screen first that will make it easier so first let's install uh, git clone x ui that is done let's cd to it and install all the requirements That should be done fairly quickly because we already have installed so much other stuff it has installed xlama v2 also but let's install it again once that is done from the repo that is done let's also git clone the xlama v2 and don't worry about the code i'm going to put the whole code in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description so you see in the next one what i'm doing it i'm just git cloning this xlama v2 so let me do it that is done and now let's cd to that and install the setup so it has given me this error which is fine so what it says is that the detected CUDA version mismatch is a version that was used to compile PyTorch so all it is saying that um, we just need to upgrade our CUDA version so if I show you my CUDA version this is nvcc dash v here so my CUDA version is 11.8 so it is saying me to upgrade my CUDA version or um, to either 12 or we can simply if I show you the torch pip show torch or we can simply downgrade our uh, PyTorch version so I think instead of um, upgrading my CUDA version I'm just going to downgrade the torch that will be easier and for that i'm just going to use this command where i'm using this torch version so let me quickly run it and that is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish the size is around 2.3 gig because i'm installing it from the source okay so the torch is downgraded let me clear the screen and now let's run that setup command again because we are already in that directory let me run it and this time it is running fine so let's wait for it to finish and now it is installed successfully let me clear the screen let's export some of the parameters which we will be using in order to download the model so as you know that for the this x llama v2 we use exl2 format and then i'm just using llama 2 13 billion exl2 you can use any model of your choice and for bits per weight i'm just mentioning 2.5 and i described what that is at the start of the video so we have set up our models parameter i have cleared the screen and now let's download the model from hugging face for that you would need the hugging face library simply do hugging face dash hub and that is done let's create a models directory i don't think so i already have it i'm just going to use this make directory models here and then let's cd to models and download the model from hugging face and i am simply using the cd model i'm going into this directory and then i'm using hugging face cli command to download the model which we specified above in the uh, models directory uh, you can even uh, move that from models directory if you don't want to give it i think uh, but doesn't matter in this case so i'm just going to remove that and then just put dot here i just wanted to download it in the present working directory so let me run it and the model is being downloaded now so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time the download speed is quite low today model is loaded let's clear the screen and now in order to run this all you need to do is to run this command python 3 server.py and it is going to start your user interface on local system on the local port so let me run it and you see that now it is running on our local host on port 5000 just open your browser and then you will see that it is running in uh, your browser now from here you can simply give the pass to where you have downloaded the model like this and then once you click enter it is going to load 
it like this it has identified your model it, it is telling you all the parameters what their values are and all you need to do is to just click on load model it is going to load it on your gpu so let's wait for it and you will see that your model is loaded now and then you can simply click here and then on the left, left hand side you can see that there is a chat option there is a notepad option if you like and then for example if you go to the chat and you can just talk with this model like what is happiness and then press enter there you, you see how fast that is it is lightning fast you can ask it any question like write me 10 sentences and then with word beauty let's see there you go. and there you go so it has produced this response that uh, all the sentences are ending with beauty and then i also ask it um, this write me a python program to reverse a list which it has done it's very very quick on this one and then you can open as many sessions as you like uh, if you want to unload the model just simply click on the models click on unload model it is going to unload it and then you can remove it so fairly easy tool nothing really very very fancy to it but um, amazing response amazing speed so if you are heavily into this xlama v2 and you routinely use these sort of models then i would suggest that it's always good idea to use this ui so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps thank you